Hey guys, today we are going to continue to look at proportions. We're going to look at another way to solve them called cross multiplying. So we're going to talk about what a proportion is again, and then we're going to talk about how to write them and solve them with cross multiplication. So a proportion looks like this. It is two ratios, aka fractions set equal to each other. And we like proportions because they can be used to find missing pieces of information. One way we can solve a proportion to find that missing piece of information is by cross multiplying because cross products of a proportion are always equivalent. So that means to solve a proportion, you can cross multiply to set up an equation, and then we will solve the equation to find the missing value. So Cross products are when we take an opposing numerator and denominator and multiply them together. So that would be 24, and then 4 times x would have to equal 24 as well, so we know that x would be 6 right here. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's look at number 1. We are going to solve this proportion by cross multiplying. So I am going to do 5 times 7. That would be a cross product, and that is 35. And it is going to equal 2 times x or 2x. And then I would divide by 2 to figure out what x is. 34 divided by 2 is 17, so that means 35 divided by 2 is 17.5. Okay, let's look at number two. I have x over 10 equals five over nine. So I cannot think of a relationship between 10 and nine, and this is already simplified. So this is why cross multiplication is helpful whenever you can't see the relationship. It's another way to solve the proportion. So x times nine is nine x, and then 10 times five is 50. And now I will divide to figure out the value of x. And I'm going to do long division for this. 9 goes in to 50. 5 times 5 times 9 is 45. I would subtract and get 5. Bring down the 0. Same thing. 9 times 5 is 45. Subtract. I would get 5 bring down the zero, and it looks like the process is going to repeat. So the value of x would be 5.5 repeating. Okay, let's look at number three, and let's cross and multiply to find the value of x. So five times three is 15, and two times x is two x, and then I would divide by two to figure out what x is, and 15 divided by 2, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So that means 15 divided by 2 would be 7.5. Okay, let's look at number 4. I'm going to cross multiply, and 12 times x is 12x. And then 7 times 80, 7 times 8 is 56, so 7 times 80 would be 560. And then I would divide by 12 to figure out the value of x. I'm going to do long division. So 12 can go into 56 4 times. 12 times 4 is 48. And I would get 8, bring down the 0. 12 can go into 80 6 times, because 6 times 12 is 72. Subtract, I get the 8. I'll bring down another 0. 6 times 12 is 72. Subtract, I get the 8. I would bring down a 0, and this process would repeat. So that means that x is 46.6 repeating. Okay, let's look at number 5. 6 times x is 6x, and 5 times 11 is 55. So I would divide by 6 to find that missing value. I'm going to need to do long division. 6 can go into 55 8 times. Oh, sorry, 9 times because 9 times 6 is 54. 
I would subtract, I get one, let's bring down a zero. Six can go into 10 one time, one times six is six. Subtract, bring a four down. Six can go into 40, six times, six times six is 36. We would subtract and get a four, bring down the zero, the process would repeat. So X is 9.16 repeating. Okay, number six, let's cross multiply to find the missing value. Three times 30 is 90, eight times X is eight X. I would divide by eight and 90 divided by eight, eight can go into nine one time, subtract, bring down the zero. Eight can go into 10 one time, eight times one is eight, subtract, bring down the two. Eight can go into 22 times, two times eight is 16, subtract, and we get four. Bring down another zero. Eight can go into 45 times and no more remainder. So that means that X is 11.25. Okay, now we have some real world situations. So we're going to set up the proportion and then we can solve it using cross multiplication. So it says at Chili's customers ordered eight entrees for every three appetizers. If Chili sold 20 appetizers, how many entrees would they sell? So the first ratio is eight entrees for three appetizers. And then it equals, it says if they sold 20 appetizers, so I need to match that with the other ratio and put that on the bottom, how many entrees would they sell? So the proportion I'm solving here is eight over three equals X over 20. And we can cross multiply to solve this. So eight times 20, eight times two is 16. So that means eight times 20 is 160 equals three times X is three X. And now I need to divide 160 by three. Three can go into 16 five times. Three can go into 10 three times. Three can go into 10 three times. And it looks like this process is just going to repeat. So I get 53.3 repeating. So that would mean about 53 entrees. Let's look at number eight. At a library, there are seven nonfiction books for every nine fiction books. If there are 147 nonfiction books, how many fiction books are there? So let's set up this first ratio, seven nonfiction to nine fiction. So seven nonfiction to nine fiction books. If there are 147 nonfiction, so I'm gonna put that in the numerator to match the other ratio. How many fiction books are there? So the ratio or the proportion would be seven over nine equals 147 over X. Okay, we have our proportion set up, so let's cross multiply to solve it. Seven times X is seven X, and nine times 147, I'll need to multiply that out. 147 times nine. Nine times seven is 63. Nine times four is 36. And 36 plus six is 42. And then nine times one is nine plus four is 13. So seven X equals 1,323. And then my last step to get X by itself is divide by seven. So X will equal whatever 1,323 divided by seven is. So seven could go into 1,323, one time for the 13, 
I subtract and I get six, bring down the two. Seven can go into 62 eight times. Eight times seven is 56. I get six, bring down the three. Seven can go into 63 nine times. So if there are 147 nonfiction books, that means that there would be 189 fiction books. Okay, let's look at number nine. Playful Pets Vet Clinic has a vet technician to veterinary ratio of five to two. The total number of vet technicians to veterinarians is 42. How many vet technicians does Playful Pets employ? So the vet tech to veterinarian ratio is five to two. So that means they have five vet techs for every two veterinarians. The total number of vet technicians and veterinarians is 42. So I'm actually gonna change this bottom to be the total. So if they have five vet techs and seven, sorry, and two veterinarians, then I'm gonna add them together and their total is seven. So there's five vet technicians and that means that there's seven total since there was another two veterinarians. And the reason I did that is because the other information that they told us was the total. The vet technicians and the veterinarians is 42. And now I can find the missing vet techs. So I just had to make sure that my information matched, which is why I found the total right here. So the proportion that I'm solving is five over seven equals x over 42. So five times 42, I'm gonna multiply that out. Five times two is 10, five times four is 20 plus one is 210. So 210 equals seven times x, which is seven x, divide by seven, and that means that there are 30 vet technicians out of the 42 total vet technicians and veterinarians. Okay, let's look at number 10. Jason practices playing the drums 25 minutes every two days. How many minutes will he practice after five weeks? We need to be careful about this one because the information that they gave us was in the number of days and then the number of weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the number of days. And I would do five times seven to figure that out, which is 35 days. And now my information is matching so I can write a proportion and then solve for that missing value. So Jason practices playing the drums for 25 minutes every two days. I want to know how many minutes he will have practiced. So I'm gonna put that on the top to match the other ratio after five weeks, which we figured out is 35 days. So here's the proportion I'm solving 25 over two equals X over 35. So I'm gonna to have to do 25 times 35. So 25 times 35, five times five is 25, five times 10, who is 10 plus two is 12, zero, three times five is 15, three times two is six plus one is seven. And I get 875. So it's 875 equals two X. So then I would divide by two and I need to divide to figure this out, do some long division. 875 divided by two. Two can go into eight four times. Four times two is eight. Subtract, I bring down the seven. Two can go into seven three times. Three times two is six. We will subtract, bring down the one and the five. Two can go into 15 seven times, 14. And my remainder would be one and I would bring down a zero, and two can go into 10 five times. 
and it would be 10 and zero out. So 43.75. So after five weeks or 35 days, he would practice 437.5 minutes.